Hi, welcome to GoCo Pro. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about or a complete process for the new mini digital screen maker. Uh, this little bit of kit here, it will make us a screen um, in 30 seconds. We've got a wonderful piece of software that can adapt um, any imagery or artwork that you've got and we just drag that into there but we're, what we're going to do, we're going to stop the camera and then we'll do a close up of the screen so you can actually see what's happening and then we'll make our screen and then we'll print with it so you can see the full system as we go this little machine will make a screen 210 wide by 270 long um, great for logos, uh, the inside of a shirt maybe onto uh, your arm or a left breast or even on the front of a t-shirt. There'll be enough room for you to get a decent size print on the front of a t-shirt. As I say, very quick, very easy and we're going to pause for a second and then we'll zoom in on the screen in a minute. Cheers. We're here and basically what I've got on the right hand side of the screen is the image that we're going to uh, convert to screen print. Here it is down here and we just drag this image, it's a JPEG, into the box which represents our screen. I can now rotate this image around and you can still see it's way too big for the screen. So this handy little button scale to fit brings it right down to the right size. If I want to go further, I can just keep bringing it down and down and down and down till I get it to the right size. And what is great about this, if I'm going to print a left breast logo or a small arm, then maybe I want to position this image in an exact point on my screen. So I can just drag it up and drop it in the corner, which is really very handy. On this occasion, we're going to print the full thing, so I'm just going scale to fit. The next thing I'm going to draw your attention to up here is the bitmap conversion. This allows us to show how much detail we can have. And as you see, if I've slid that up, it shows that it brings in the 75, which is on the back of the image. And I can either have that in, and the further I slide up, the darker it gets, the more information it pulls in and burns away of the screen. And if I go down the other way, the same thing happens. I can take out more and more of the lighter colours, getting lighter and lighter. And eventually, I can even take out the wording that was down the bottom here. This is a dark blue, and I can virtually take it all away. So what I do is I now move this to an area that I like, where I'm getting enough information. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to pull this back so I get a little bit of the padding on the seat. And there we go there. Um, and I've got a little bit of detail in the engine. So that is now the threshold that I want. It's the right amount of data that I'm going to transfer to make my screen. So at this stage, all we just do is hit print. And it sends the information to the screen maker. And we'll then go back to video and show you it actually producing it. So you've uh, joined us back again. We've showed you the software and how it works. And what we do with this now is we've got a metal frame and we have our double sided tape and we just stretch our screen on here nice and simply. And then what we do is we pop it into the, um, the mini digital screen maker. We've already sent the file to it, uh, as you saw, and we just hold this down. And what happens is this screen now runs through the print, uh, the thermal head, which will burn holes in the screen. It, it doesn't do it quite as high a resolution as some of the other screen makers we have, but it's uh, still very good indeed. And the advantage with this system is we've seen what it does already on the screen. Um, this image will stay in the machine until... Um, we switch it off and you can maybe just see in here that we've got our screen uh, and it's burnt our master in here. So now that we've got that we print on the top side of this uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to print onto one of our felt um, sheets. Uh, as I say the image will stay inside the, um, the machine until we switch it off. So if you want to do it again, you can pop it back in and it'll make the, the screen again. And what it does is it kind of just puts it on the exact same spot so um, you, you, you don't really have much of a problem. This is quite a good thing. We've not experimented fully with it yet, but I think we will be able to do a multiple colour sitting on top of each other, which would be quite nice. 
So we just pop this in, we're using a big uh, squeegee with this one, but again, you could use a lighter weight squeegee uh, that you have. Oh, this all moves, so I forget about that. Set that up. And here we see our uh, design uh, nicely laid out onto this. Now that could be on a t-shirt or onto a bag or onto absolutely anything.